Hey everyone, welcome back. We are uh, July 1st, 2022, and I just did a video on NVIDIA and how the decline in GPU mining is affecting NVIDIA and their stock is tanked. And I am a stockholder in NVIDIA and have felt that, yeah, I'm a bad trader. Anyway, came across Amazon, saw a deal pop up on my feed, and I thought this applied to the last video. This is actually a gigabyte GE Force RTX 3080 Ti, which is LHR, right? But you can get the full LHR 100% unlocked by using uh, G Miner, T Rex Miner, all those guys, MB Miner, and Ice Hash, whatever is your preference to get full hash rate. This is a 12 gigabyte model, not bad at all. Anyway, this is a this is a new card. This isn't even a used, refurbished card. I'm looking just to make sure I am speaking correctly. It's in stock, not bad, and I don't see anything about refurbish or anything. I'm, that's why I check because you know why the price is incredible, not incredible to buy it, but it just shows the trend. It shows the trend that these prices are tanking on GPU prices, not just in the reseller market on used like eBay and that, where people are selling used. Uh, GPUs from their mining rigs. This is a new card and it has dropped uh, in the Gigabyte store, you know, to be specific, in their own store. They went from $15.99, that was part of the original MSRP, down to $1,099. So a $500 Schmackaroo Droppo, 31%. And uh, before what you were seeing is the list price, the MSRP was $15.99. Scalpers would gobble these up with their retail bots and they would relist them on eBay, StockX, uh, Fakebook, Marketplace, stuff like that. And they would ask 1700 1800 bucks. Yeah, high, high, close to 2000 and not on the peak of the, uh, the uh, high demand craze of getting GPUs to mine ETH and all that stuff. But look at it, guys. It's trending down. I would not touch a GPU at any cost right now. I think they're going to go a lot lower. You might be able to get this card. After the Ethereum merge, the POS 2.0, oh, POS baby, uh, after they do their merge, if they do their merge, uh, you could probably get this card. Oh, my God. So we're, they're, they dropped it right a huge 31%. I bet you could probably end up getting this card for 500 bucks, if not less, eventually. By uh, I'm, I'm just going to guess. Uh, people are going to trail off after mining slows down. October, fall time frame, end of the year, when people start realizing they're making no money with their GPUs and people just don't want to hold on to the cards. They'll start selling their used cards and flood the market. And uh, that's going to make demand for new cards even less. Because if I can get it uh, now for a thousand bucks, I see a guy with a used 38 Ti. Yeah, whatever. And if even if he, especially if he added the copper shim mod to the 3080 Ti to make the memory temps a lot cooler by 30 to 40 percent i'm gonna buy that card because he invested another 60 bucks in that gpu to keep it running cool versus buying a new gigabyte which has just those crap thermal pads most often are not even lined up on the memory chips when you pull the thing apart to clean it and check them they're off center they're not even lined up on the memory causing higher heat and the uh, the heat sinks aren't able enough to dissipate that heat so if i can see a guy Selling me a used 38 Ti with the copper mod, I'm going for it, but not now. I'm going to wait till the prices do further. So the point is I'd rather buy a used card that's been, uh, you know, maintained, dust bunnies cleaned out, stuff like that, and copper shim added. I'm going with that. Uh, no one, everyone says, oh, maybe they could short out the card with the copper. No, not if you do it right. You can use Kapton tape to protect other stuff on the board. Uh, but in general, if you know what you're doing, use the thermal paste on the sh on the copper plate you're good to go but you can get if the guy's going to sell that to me on ebay for less why would i go buy a new card that doesn't do the memory heat uh management as well as someone who took care of their cards uh it's buyer beware obviously but again point is prices are wow massively tanking a 500 hundred dollar drop 31 percent on amazon of all places because these um these uh companies these resellers on amazon amazon takes a lot off the top uh, that's why you can always, usually, 
99% of the time get stuff cheaper elsewhere or direct from the manufacturer or stores because they go to Amazon to resell and they got to crank the prices because uh, the cost involved with working with Amazon, the, the stuff they take off the top. Even eBay, if you're selling crap, mostly a 14% commission. That's a lot of chunk of change out of your profit. Most times you walk away with nothing. You just break even. They call it a brick. You bought something, you sold it for less. Yeah, you, 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 yeah. It's not a good. It's not a good profitable move. You basically want to make money. That's the goal of the game, right? Anyway, that's what we're seeing. Saw this deal. If you want a new 38 Ti right now, I'd advise against it. But I will post this link below in the description if you want to click on it and see for yourself. Now you'll also see this 106. This is something I do on my Brave browser. I have a Capital One shopping plugin. You can. It's an extension. And it just goes and finds a better price out there. I think if I click on it, it goes to eBay. Uh, and most times out of 10, it is a lower price and you can get it uh, and you're good to go. You save an additional hundred bucks. So I, you know, that's another side note for being a smart, savvy shopper. You know, every dollar adds up. Every dollar saved is, you know, is a dollar saved. You know, sometimes it's best not to buy anything and you saved all your money. So it's all your mindset. But the Capital One plugin works for me. And that is enough about that. So I'll post this down if you want to go look at it. Is this the white model? I can't tell. It's, I've never seen this model before. Vision. I don't have. I have Asus brand, which I kind of, and a Rog Strix. And uh, yeah, they run hot. That's why I put the copper mods on mine, man. That I, I'm proof that the copper mod works on these uh, 3070 Ti's, 38 Ti's, which have that GDR6 micron memory. Runs super hot, man. Gets up to 106, 110. Makes you nervous. It's this thing gonna spontaneously combust. So just good to know, but with a copper mod, those things run cold. That's why I say that if I see someone who took the effort to add that, I know they paid 60 bucks more and took care of their cards and uh, just didn't throw them in some factory uh, GPU farm. They didn't even clean them off once a month or whatever. I'm gonna ask that guy. How have you maintained your cards? I'll buy it. But the prices are tanking. Go for it. Keep, uh, keep looking. I posted a link to the deal page as well on Amazon. Yeah, shameless grift there. Uh, if you use that link for the Amazon affiliate, I get pennies, but that pennies will go feed my dog. He likes those raw hides, and uh, he only likes them new. He's very picky. So using that Amazon link helps me buy raw hides for him to keep him happy. All right, I'm out, guys. Crypto mining winter, crypto recession, country recession, recession, country recession. We're in it. Now is the time. I missed the good old days two years ago when things were booming. Things are looking good. Uh, people are making money. And, but we can't have that. We got to destroy it. So that's where we're at now. Uh, yeah, just be smart. Use your head. God gave you critical thinking skills. Use it. All right, I'm out. Take care. Blammo.